Well, hello everybody. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work alongside Maggie and Lauren to bring you fun and new crocheting tutorials. Anyway, uh, we had a request on our Facebook page. If you're not there yet, it's Whip, W-I-P for work in progress and chain. Come find us. And if you have any requests of video tutorials that you want, want to see how it's done, come on over. This is a request for the balloon dog that I did quite a bit ago on how to sew this so it stays when you prop them up. Now, I've uh, put mine together and taken it apart so many times. That's a little loose, but that's okay. I'm going to show you the full concept of doing this. So I do recommend you use the same yarn that you use to make this so you can match colors. Now, what you'll be doing is you're going to be sewing. Here's his nose. Here's his ears. Here's his neck. And then this is the body. Okay. So what you want to do is basically you, you want to sew the neck and the body together that will help form him to be able to stand. That'll keep his head stable for you. So you need a darning needle. And like I said, you need the thread, the yarn, excuse me. And if I can get it started. Just like that. Sometimes it just does take patience. Okay, so you want your dog assembled. That's very important. So now understand my neck and my body because I use color changing yarn or two different colors, but I've opted for the blue for down here. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your hook and just insert it in the side and you bring it up to about the center of where his neck is, but don't go in there yet. And I'm hitting everything while I'm doing it. Leave a tail, okay? Do not knot this or anything. So then when you get where you want, turn it around so you are able to look at everything properly. And you wanna take your hook. See where, if you push it together, where it comes together. That's about where you want to put your needle. So you want to put it down a little lower and bring it up in the very next row of stitches. Okay. And when you pull it, make sure you don't pull your end out. Okay. Then you want to go back down into the body part. Not far back where you can see the stitches, but fairly close and you want to bring it around and go back up into the neck. You go through like one row of stitches. Okay. And again, make sure you pull it tight. That's very, very important. Then don't go in this direction where your end is. Flip him over so you can see the other side of him or her. Then <clears throat> you do it again. You go down where you can't see where your stitch, where your yarn's going to be, into the body. And then you come up through the neck and do one row again. Okay? And hold it tight. I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to explain. And then you go back down into the body and you do another round of stitch to hold them very tight. And if you keep pulling it tight, you won't see this yarn too well. Then you flip them back over. And then you go back again to the center and do another one because you really want to make sure this is nice and tight. 
and that you're only going down one row. That's really, really important or all your thread is just going to show. Okay. After you do that, then you want to do a part on the side to hold it in. So you bring it over and where it'll meet. See where it meets? You want to go down under so they won't see your stitch. And then you do it again on the body. And then, see how if you pull it tight? And then I would recommend to do one more, just to, that extra stability is what's going to make the big difference. Okay. After you're comfortable with how many times you did it, pull your needle off. Now just hear me out. And you tie this and you knot it. Make sure it stays really tight. If you need help with the, the knot, have someone hold their little finger in there for you or a spouse. And I tie it one more extra. And what I do is I cut it. I get rid of my extra yarn and then I take my hook, it doesn't have to be the hook you did it with, and you slip it in and you come back up and you just pull that yarn, you keep pulling it through down different loops until it doesn't pop out anymore. Or, if you're comfortable with how much you pulled it through, cut it, and <laughs> I'm wrapping my dog all in 15 different directions. And there, that is how you sew on the neck to the body. And if you want, you can do the same theory for the ears to the neck and the back legs to the body if you want. But it's the exact same theory for all of it. And if you keep it nice and tight, it won't come off. But remember, the, the trick is you do both sides and you do the center. If you just try to put a knot in the center, it's going to be wobbly. But if you do stitches on each side... It's going to keep them nice and tight. So that is how you sew your balloon dog head and body, uh, body and neck together. And if you have any more questions, again, please feel free to jump over to our Facebook page, WIP, W-I-P and Chain, and come find us and ask any questions you want. If this was helpful, it would be great if you hit that like button at the bottom and that subscribe button. We truly appreciate your support. Until next time, happy crocheting everybody. Bye.